Hey guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. We're back for another uh, weapon review at New Vegas Bounties. Holy crap! I am almost out of, uh, almost dehydrated, so I gotta drink something. But uh, for now, we're going to be reviewing a M37 Ithaca shotgun, and we'll find out what our next bounty is. So uh, hang tight. Let's drink some water. That's a little better. So let's we can survive for right now. Let's head on over and uh, this shotgun, like all of uh, Millennium's mods, are over at uh, Doc Mitchell's. We'll go see if we can find it. All right. I am told it is. Oh, there it is. The M37 Ithaca. Okay. Looks like a uh, pump action shotgun. Take some. Oh, it uses 20 gauge rounds. I'm glad I made some. Ithaca long tube, Ithaca synthetics, and Ithaca side saddle. Hmm, interesting. We'll have to check it out and see what we got. So let's take our normal spot back by this truck and take a look at this thing. So Ithaca is a. Uh, Famous name for shotguns, been around a long time. Let's take a look at uh, what we got. The Ithaca 20 gauge shotgun shell. Uh, 12 by 27, let's just take a look at uh, the base stats. 52 damage, reload time 1.97 seconds. Uh, action point cost 23, okay. So, let's just see. DPS 139. I uh, re-equipped the hunting shotgun. Just gonna take a look at that. So you can see the damage on that. DPS is 150, so not that much less for a pump action shotgun. Take a look at the base here. 70 base damage. Rounds per second 1.67. Reload time 2.33. Critical damage 70. Hmm. Okay. Let's just equip this and take a look at what we got here. Alright. Pretty base gun. Looking to step on your own grave? Oh, stop it. Shut gas. So, yeah. Old fashioned shotgun. Gotta love these things. Let's see what it does here. Nice sound. Okay. So, uh, let's just take a look at those mods. We have the side saddle. Okay. That's going to put some shells on the side. Attack damage 0.2%. Okay. Ithaca long tube. Ammo capacity 0.3. Or plus 3. And the synthetic parts. Maximum condition. Okay. Let's take a look at it now. All right, now it's looking like it can do some serious damage. All right, let's uh, do a little something with this. Let's uh, get set up. I made some new shells. These are the uh, Gunrunner Special 3 odd Buck Magnums. So let's take a look at what we got now for damage. 22.9 by 4. That's 20 gauge round, obviously doesn't do as much and compared to the shotgun. Now I gotta equip that. Put the appropriate shells in there. Four out buck and yep, buck magnum, that's what we want. Let's just take a look again. So once again, 22.3 by 4 compared to 13.1 by 7. So 143 versus 150. Okay. Not bad. I don't think I got the wrong thing equipped. Yep, I do. In fact, let's just hotkey this since we've got it right here. So, I want that one. There we go. That's a pretty good looking shotgun. Even if it is 20 gauge. Not too bad. Let's just try and 
put some rounds through it here. Yeah, that's pretty quick. All right. Take a look at the uh, hunting shotgun for comparison. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. That was going to be a shotgun on the ground. Take it. I hate that. Hey, when I do that. Honey shotgun, equip it. Now, let's see what we got. So, for comparison's sake. That's about as fast as it will fire right there. Sounds a little deeper. I like that. But, for this uh, showcase, I did it again. I am having one of those days. Until I'm playing other games where the other... I did it, dropped it again. I am a moron. Excuse me. For being a moron. Playing the wrong game. Alright. Back at it. So. We have the Ranger. There it is. The Sequoia Ranger. And still being a moron. There we go. And the Ithaca. And we, of course, the M14, which we never really completed uh, testing on. So we're going to take it with us on the bounty. So we have a pistol. Pistol, shotgun, and rifle. Now, I also carry a silenced pistol, but no one cares about that. There it is. I just carry a silence just so I can blow up mines without anyone noticing. So, anyways. I always like this pistol. Isn't that pretty? So, Cass is with us again. So is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. And uh, we'll go pick up our next bounty. So bear with me, and I'll meet you back at Randall and Associates. So here we are at Randall's. Ready to get our bounty. We're going to go talk to Randall here. Let's see what we got. Hi, Randall. Hey. Got more work for me? You ready for the next bounty, kid? Yep. Yes. Last week, a caravan was waylaid north of town but it's still a mystery who was behind the attack. Mm -hmm. One of the guards survived with a leg injury, but by all accounts, he's a drunken ass. His name is Chesty. Chesty. And he spends his okay. days over at the bar at Boulder City. Boulder City. Find this guy and try to okay. figure out what happened. Our client is offering 500 caps for the apprehension or termination of the attacker, provided we get definitive proof. Good luck. Well, that doesn't really give me much to go on. we got to find Chesty. And uh, go look into this caravan attack. We'll uh, see what we got here. Make our way back to the uh, truck and get going there. So last week when we left you with the M14 review, we're still carrying it with us. We're going to give it another go. I've never looked inside this trash can. What's in here? Nothing. All right, fine. And uh, we're going to give it another shot. You know, it's it's too early to say. You know, it doesn't do as much damage as a honey rifle. And definitely some of the higher end stuff, it doesn't do nearly as much. But uh, we're going to give it a shot. I think uh, the extra capacity would be nice. And uh, it's a good mid to long. Mid to long range weapon. I won't say it's short range. Or it's a strictly a mid-range, like the Ferguson, which I put back. But it's, it is what it is, and we'll give it a shot. So, I'll tell you what, I will take the truck over to Prim, or over to uh, Boulder City, rather, and we'll take a look. So, I'll be back with you once we get to Boulder City. So, here we are outside of uh, Boulder City and the Bighorn Saloon. I think this is where we're supposed to meet Chesty. So, let's take a look. I've discovered my truck again. I don't know why that is. But anyways. Let's go inside. 
Hey, barkeep. You got anybody? Surprising that the cons are going to walk out of here after all that fuss. Yeah, I did that. Uh, you don't have anything I want. Come back real soon. No real information there. So speak to Chesty about the caravan check. Okay, well, we're back out. We're having some uh, glitches here. So. Hey. Hey, Chesty. So. Having a little drink, are we? What? Can you buy me a drink? No. Just one drink? No. I want information. Well... There was a big fucking explosion. <laughs> and I got covered in Brahmin guts. Brahmin guts, right. Mike was shot to shit, but he managed to get one of them. It wasn't raiders like I'm used to. It was a couple of old guys in weird uniforms. It was at this intersection... Uh, here. Anyway, there ain't much left there, but you can look. We cleaned up the bodies, but left that old dude to rot. Left the old dude. So we got old dudes in uniforms. Weird uniforms. So we'll go look at the old dude with uniforms. But where are we going? Data. World map. No, I don't want that. Stop it. So it's up north. Okay. Well, the Vegas Medical Clinic. Crimson Caravan, Old Rat Ranch, Freeside, North Gate, Freeside. Okay, looks like our destination is the Crimson Caravan. So, all right, let's go. To the truck. Crimson Caravan, that's where we want to go. Looks like the team has glitched into the truck again. Oh, I can see your Cass's boobs. And there we go. Alright. There we go. Crimson Caravan. Ready to die! Oh, poor thing. Your ass whipping. Yeah, well, thanks, heavily armed dude. Did you did you see that? Did you see that? Just he's a moron. These morons are everywhere. I'll take this and this. Caravan check and I'll fix stuff with that. And we're off. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, where's my pistol? Uh, that's what we want. Actually, probably need to equip the rifle. The M14. Head it off in this direction, roughly. See if we can find this thing. Anything? Let's see what's in here. Egg timer. I think I can use that for something. I think I can make a something with that. I don't know what. Time bomb or maybe a bottle cap mine. Ooh, bottle cap mine. So we got. Oh, there's an ash pile. Ooh. There's a recording. Quantrill's notes. We'll take Quantrill's notes. You scan the bloodstained pages of Quantrill's diary. He has a crude account of countless raids, scavenging missions, and skirmishes that span several decades. Okay, he is an old dude. The final log mentions his superior officer, Onada, and Quantrill's feelings for him. He mentions their intent to assault the Brotherhood of Steel Safe House as a means to acquire weaponry. That's never a good idea. Do you really want to do that? Let's see what's in the ash pile. Nothing. Nothing there. Can't access this. Well, I have no idea where that Brotherhood is safe. This is, so... Uh, really? It's over there? There's nothing there. I haven't been there before. So, we got a... Got a little run ahead of us, so... Uh, let's, let's just head out. That direction. Okay. Off we go. 
I got the appropriate gun for outdoors. So let's just get a walk in. Something exciting may happen. Something thrilling, you never know. Really? You're gonna try and take me out with a silent submachine gun? Really? That's worth some money. I'll take these. Okay. Their armor, I might be able to use that for something. So damaged me a tiny bit. What do you have what was going on back over here? What's he had going on? Hanging out on a trailer? Garden oh, ooh, ammo boxes. Okay, I'll take those. Uh, take this. Take those too. Suitcase empty. Cesspool. I'll take those. Empty. Okay. What else you got going on in here? Oh, more ammo boxes. I love ammo. Oh yeah. Look at all that. Ooh, 50 machine, 50, 50 cal. I like that. I don't have one, but what the hell, right? I never have too much. Moonshine. Really? Here if I, ooh, I'll take that. Take that. Empty. Plate. Anything else? No? Okay. Yeah, uh, box. Look at the crate. I don't know the crate. Bloat file and meat. Nope. I don't think so. No thanks. Moving on. Drop box. Ooh, locked average. Okay. I'm going the right way here. Yeah, there we go. Really? All that for pinion nuts. I'll take them anyways. I didn't take them. I don't take them. Okay. So we're still going this way. Beds. I'll cook something with that later. Can I go in this direction? What do you got over here? What's that? Eddie says they're harmless. So we'll go. What's over here? Door to field shack. Try to just have a shotgun here just in case. Nope, I don't see anything. Toy box. What's in the toy box? BB, BB gun. Do I really want a BB gun? No, I don't think so. Teddy bear. Car. Ammo box. I'll take it all. Thank you very much. A little feel for the... Uh, take that. This guy is armed. I like him. Good. I'll take that. What do we got here? Abilene Kid Lever Action BB Gun. Worth a lot. I'll take it. Add the collection. Play. Okay. Metal cooking pan. Must 
down here? The stove. Anything in the stove? Nope, nothing in the stove. In the locker. Nope. That was interesting. Alright, well, it's a shack with an expensive baby gun in it. It's kind of interesting. I think we all know what's down that road, but we're not going to go there. <clears throat> what's this? Looks to me like a uh, utility company. Utility company. Hi guys. Keep up the good work. Keep the wasteland lighted. Ooh. FPS dropped there. I don't know what that was about. Uh, yeah, like that. No, in this direction still. Doesn't fire. There's something weird there. What is that? What is that? The lawn chair. Huh. Okay. That's kind of random. That. Getting close. What is that? Something up there. Hmm. Rock. Xander root. What is that? Something off in the distance there. I don't see. I don't see anything. Eddie assures me he's there. Is that it? That's a gecko. It's a gecko. Nothing to worry about. Just a gecko. Even though we did see a pack of geckos rip apart old poor old Tom Quigley. Is it anything? Don't say anything. Banana yucca. Okay. A little shopping action down here. Something's up. Something is there. What is that? We're hunting shitheads. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, is that... That's what I think it is. I don't like this. Go away. I'm doing business. Okay. Let's go this way. back this way. Stop it. I'm so close. Oh, oh, great. There's another one out there. What the hell is going on here? Great. I do not want to be taking on death claws in the middle of a bounty. That would just not make my day. Xander Root. I know. I just can't help myself. It's it's just this like sickness. So it says it's off in that way. And so is the Death Claw. What am I gonna do about this? We've got one over there. One over there. I can sneakily come up and I got this guy. Let's see. So this is gonna be gonna be the big test of the M14. Okay, it's a young death claw, not not a big deal. Okay. If they're young death claws, we could probably take them. 
If they're full size death claws, we may have a problem. What is this? No longer well rusted, okay. Door to train tunnel locked. Very hard. Well, okay, fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. He's way too close. I don't know what I'll use for that, but I'll take it anyways. Oh, way too close. Got like a big game hunting and it was charging at me like a lion. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up on our target. You can see it doesn't move. Okay. So. Reload. I know. I know. I know. I can't stop. I can't stop what I'm doing. Food. God, he's real close, isn't he? Around this, around this thing. Gas. Be quiet. Eddie, stop buzzing. Anything else? I don't see anything else around here, so. Some red rocks. What we got here. Somebody out there. Who's that? I don't know. But he's wearing a weird uniform and carrying energy weapons. So. Go, pal. Not worried about him now, am I? Okay. And a level up. Well, that's kind of an appropriate time. You finish a uh, bounty and do a level up. So we've chosen. I've, I've got to go for runs. I got to. I got to try it. You know, if it does work with the service rifle, assault rifle, and marksman carbines, and light machine guns, fire grenades, that sort of thing, and I get more more uh, damage out of my M14. Uh, that's a good thing. So we'll take it. We're going to take it and see what we got. Done. So let's check. Weapons. Yes! It increased the damage of my uh, M14. Okay. Alright. It's actually pretty good now. So it's not horrible. It was less. I remember that less. I have to go back and check the YouTube video on the on the M14 before, but uh, it was less. So it did increase. So that's good. Okay. So back we go. Let's go see what this cat had. All right. So Bonata. This this is him. Un he's Enclave. Anyway. Point two and point five. Not much point to that. So I might take my fusion cell, plasma rifle, and a finger. That's what we need. We need that finger. Okay. So we got here. Brotherhood of Steel safe house requires a key. All right, Cass. So we went all this way. We found a house. Can't get in. All right. So let's head on back. Let's just see what we got around here. I really need to try out this uh, shotgun. What is that? Huh? <laughs> More death claws. No, I don't think we're gonna go that way. Nope, 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 nope. I don't think so. So let's head back. 
Eddie, you will get me advised of the situation, right? Thank you. Eddie? Alright, here. Just stop telling me for a second there. You know, I really want to go down there. But I'm not. Let's see what else we got here. There's that death claw we took out. The young death claw. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it, but we'll figure something out. Let's just forget about the death claws and just get the hell out of here. Just avoid them like the plague. Get back on the road. What's that? Another death claw. Okay. Just get on the road. Road. Let's see what we find. Any buildings? What is that booming sound? That was the shack we hit. As we wander through the desert. Looking for things to shotgun. You know, let's get that out. Okay. So we have a shotgun if we need it. Give this thing a try. Let me find something. Get over there. Bridge? Have we been there? Let's go this way. I feel like jumping off the What's that? Red stuff. Okay. Alright, we got a right gun here. Let's see. Giant scorpions. Okay. Let's kick this in gear. Time to keep getting yeah, it. So the M14 does do a bit more damage like this. Eddie, you're just shooting the rock, Eddie. Where's he at? Where's he at? Well, that, I guess that's where he was. And away we go. Okay. What's that? Let's try a scorpion. Okay, I don't know what I use it for, but I'll find out something. I always forget stuff like these things. That. What's this here? Building of some sort. Same thing. And he says it is clear. Open gate. Locked. I think I can handle an average lock. This way. This way. There we go. Come on. A little more. A little more. Up. Oh, broke that one. There we go. Got here. Stuff. Any good stuff though, in some case. Nope. Don't want it. Two bucks. Take it, take it. Is that a trash can? Take log gaps. The Immortals Shack. Immortals? I have a washing machine. I'll take that. The Immortals Shack. Okay.
cigarettes and alcohol. So there. Let's go here. Damage guard. Cherry bomb. Cherry bomb. Hi. Got themselves a little generator going. It's like the southern. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. For that. He's sitting here like a bunch of rednecks. Shooting out at the out the wilderness. Okay guys. You need to stay here. I'll hold up here. Don't be long. Stay here. Alright. Okay. Requires key. Well that was a let's waste hit of time. the road. Alright, let's go. Okay, well. Still haven't found anything to shotgun yet. As we wander the wasteland. You're getting to witness my grocery shopping more than anything else. Let's see. What we got over here? They left the light on for us. Door to Isaac's house. Uh, Isaac's probably a nice guy. Somebody's over here. Somebody bad is over here. That would be a bad person. And he's gonna get shot. That's a little long range view there. So the M14 is actually pretty effective now. A little weak. A little weak before, but now it's pretty good. Fiend, yeah. Dandy pulling apples. Oh, thank you. Well, that was. It was a waste of ammo, wasn't it? You think? Waste of ammo? Okay. So... I guess we'll just head back, roll us back to the Crimson Caravan. And there's the truck. Well, it's getting late. And we're just going to have to call it here. We'll head back to Randall's and I'll have to keep the Ithaca for a while longer. So another incomplete weapon review. Didn't find anything to shoot. So, okay. We'll catch up with you when we get back to Randall's. So it's getting night time. We're coming up on Randall's. Going to finish out this bounty. And, uh... Eh, we'll pick up another one. I think I need to go... Go out and try some new stuff. Come back in a week or so. I didn't notice yet. What's in here? Ooh, 44 Magnum rounds. Don't mind if I take these, do you, Randall? Don't need them. Need something else. So, let's see, you got some. Are these for guests, Randall? Or are they just for anyone? Evening. Oh, nice. Oh, gun cap. Is the convoy attacker hey, dead? Randall. Sure is. Good. Here's your reward. Yep. Don't spend it all in one place. Come back when you're ready for the next job. Someone is always in need of killing. It always. You ready for another job? Why? Why do I have to collect the fingers? Can't I bring back their head or something? What I'm, are you? I'm some kind of that. psychopath? Look. We collect fingers well, because it's a quick, a little? And efficient way to provide proof of death. I'm not building some crazy finger necklace or anything. I learned it from a man well, I encountered you were in my younger days. He found me after Marco had cut me to shreds, since he was on that bastard's trail yeah. anyway. His name was Marshall Cooper, okay. and he was the bravest lawman and bounty hunter Marshall I ever Cooper. encountered. 
I saw him kill three raiders single-handedly with a fucking Did, fork. Didn't we I wouldn't believe have this conversation I already? Do it. I don't know I think we did. I think we had this Except conversation in the previous from episode. Virginia or Maryland somewhere. He was some kind of high-ranking regulator. Anyway, he saved my life several right. times. And he taught me everything I know. We parted ways several years ago. He had unfinished business back east. After that, I came I out west this story, to join up with the first crew that would hire me. Anyway, that's enough of fucking story time with Uncle Randall. Are you ready to work or not? Come back when no. you've got your shit together. Not right now. I'm so out of here. F you, Randall. Oh, I'll, I'll be back, I guess. So nighttime. Are we gonna get caught in the door again? Cass? What are you doing behind the building, Cass? What? Are you sneaking up on me? Alright. Betty, keep an eye on her. She's getting suspicious. So anyways, there's another episode. It's getting late. So we're going to head out out before it gets too horribly dark. Turn on a light. We got a little spotlight. See you like the spotlight? Hi, Cass. How you doing? Alright. So. This is it. New Vegas Bounties. Episode 2 with a almost worthless review. Actually, it's better with the light on. Of the M37 Ithaca. You got a look at it. And uh, I think it's going to be a good shotgun. It certainly is a pretty shotgun. I think it'll be good later on. It looks good, doesn't it? Oh shit, I shot Cass. I shot Cass. Wow, that's pretty good for... Just blank looking. Sorry, Cass. Sorry. So anyways, there you go. There's your test. It will effectively knock down... A follower from full strength to half. There is your review of the M37 Ithaca shotgun. So, remember, folks, when the word says, hold my beer and watch this, don't be pointing at your friends. All right? So, just remember that. I'll just turn this one in so we all remember that. So, then once again, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel <laughs> signing off. And uh, have a good time playing New Vegas.